Vaccinate on arrival. That feed yard practice is decades old. But some ranchers are beginning to ask if those shots are doing as much good as hoped. We actually have seen trends in the overall prevalence of respiratory disease in feedlot cattle go up despite our efforts to change things. So we have better vaccines, we have better drugs in terms of antimicrobials, and we have producers that are more aware of what they should be doing. And despite all those things, we have more sick calves and more calves that are dying in the feedlot. Why aren't things getting better? Maybe the ways we apply new technologies just aren't helping. Most people think of vaccines as something that's really harmless. At, at its worst, it costs us a little bit of money that we don't get anything back from. But it, we do have some interesting data that says that at its worst, it can be harmful. I, I always want to put the caveat in that vaccines are very useful tools and when used appropriately and when we expect the right things from them. It's important to identify high-risk calves and limit stressors that could open doors to other viruses and infections. In my opinion, weaning is arguably one of the most stressful things that a calf is going to go through in its life. The only thing, in my opinion, that compares is castrating a heavy bull. Managing the risk of infectious disease goes hand-in-hand -hand with managing the space provided for feed yard calves. So as pen size goes down, we have less potential hosts and potentially less risk for respiratory disease. In fact, some um, operators, some, some producers that feed really high-risk animals will use that as a strategy when, when their mass treatment starts to fail or some of their other intervention strategies don't work. They'll actually just reduce the, the population of animals in a particular group, and that does a nice job of uh, slowing down those outbreaks. Vanderlei says there's no reason to guess when it comes to troubleshooting your calf health program. A talk with your veterinarian will point to how much respiratory disease is linked to weaning strategy. When you look at the wean calves that were weaned for 45 days, dropped their respiratory disease from 35% down to about 6, which is not unexpected for a group of calves that got transported to a feedlot. So it's, it's really cool that weaning had that much of an impact. And it turns out that when you manage calves correctly, the vaccine doesn't add a lot. It, it, it's kind of sitting there like an insurance policy in your drawer when you don't have a fire. I'm Bob Cervera.